This is the world's largest Lego vending machine. It is 60 full box wide and 48 box deep, 63 and two thirds blocks tall. As you can probably tell from the inside, it has taken a very long time to create. I started by 3D printing the coils until I almost caught it on fire. But with some repairs, we were back to printing. And for the next many months, I continued to build the machine while I fixed the many, many issues. Eventually, I had my first successful test run. With the machine finally working, I'm so happy to be able to finally share it with you. So let's get into the video. The machine features nine different products each one with its own color button combination. When the buttons are pressed, the price appears. In this case, lifesavers are 75 cents. This machine uses a revolutionary mechanism to accept and differentiate between $1 bills and $5 bills while being able to reject fake bills. Once the machine has determined what the bill is, it adds a dollar onto the balance. With sufficient funds, we can now buy the lifesavers. The machine first subtracts 75 cents from the balance and then begins to vend them. Once dispensed, the machine then begins to reset. This time, let's purchase the Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. By pressing the blue and green button, it shows that the price is $1.50. With the balance only being $0.25, cents, let's insert another dollar. This machine is also able to accept multiple coins at a time, as well as any US coin. First we'll insert a penny, it'll add one cent onto the machine, and then a nickel. This footage is sped up because the process is quite slow. Now a dime, and then we'll insert one more dime for a total of $1.51. With enough money, pressing the buttons now bends the Tic Tacs. Pressing the blue button twice correlates with the Dr. Pepper. As I mentioned earlier, fake bills are rejected. This is due to the difference in paper composition that $1 bills, $5 bills, and any other paper is made of. Shining a flashlight through the bills reveals that there is a different color and amount of light that gets passed through each one. This is what the machine detects. The lights in the bill acceptor shine directly into a sensor. This communicates with the machine to tell it what type of bill it is. When inserting a $5 bill, we can see it pass over the sensor, then go backwards to find the edge of the bill, and then the machine is going to test specific program spots on a bill to see how much light is let through and what exact color it is. With plenty of money in the machine, we can buy the Dr. Pepper. While it's bending, let's explain some of the mechanism behind the walls. Chains are able to move the dispensing mechanism. It goes up and down as well as left to right. Once it reaches the Dr. Pepper, it then spins to dispense it onto the platform. This way, your soda doesn't fall down, get shaken up, explode, or anything like that. The platform then tilts, sliding the Dr. Pepper into position for the customer to get. Finally, the customer can turn the dial and take their soda. 
The balance is now $3.01. Let's purchase some M&Ms while I continue to explain the mechanism. Let's first take a deeper look into the two motors that move the machine. This is the core XY plane of the machine. It has two chains lassoed around the cart here. So the one starts here, goes up, around, around, around there, and then it also goes around, up to the cart. Same thing on this side, but the inverse. Moving the motors in in the same or opposite direction together, moves the cart back and forth or up and down. Moving just one motor moves it diagonally. All right, so once it is in position, the gear turns the other gray gears you can see for each product that then dispenses the product. When those gears turn, their respected coil spins through chains on the back of the machine. And finally, let's purchase a Coca-Cola. Since we are still short 49 cents, let's insert two quarters. And while we're at it, let's also look at how the coin mechanism works. This conveyor belt is constantly spinning and also syncs up with the mechanism that drops coins at an exact time. That's the mechanism up to the right. When that bar bounces forwards, it will drop a coin. That coin then gets stopped according to its diameter. Pennies here they would go much further down the track and then get stopped. At a precise moment, that bar lifts and the coins start going towards that sensor. When the coins are released, a timer also starts. That timer stops when the coin passes under that sensor. That's how the machine knows exactly what coin was put into the machine. Now, let's see some action shots of the Coca-Cola sliding onto the platform. When the soda goes all the way over to the right side, the platform then tilts up because it is pressed against a piece. Today, September 20th, is LEGO Machine Day. This machine was begun just before LEGO Machine Day of last year, so I thank each and every one of you for sticking with me as I built it. Lastly, I encourage all of you guys to subscribe as I have a brand new series coming out on the channel extremely soon and it may also be another world record, so definitely stay tuned.